welcome to Letty Does Patreon Update June 2018. So, it's been a while since I did one of these and oh my gosh, do I have a lot of stuff to show you. So, um, yeah, new setup and all. This feels kind of weird, but this is basically the other side of my room, the one that you guys usually don't see uh, via you know, my reactions and stuff. This is my other, um, drawer, or not drawer, uh, cabinet thing, or what, what are these things called again? I, I don't remember what these things are called. Rack, my other racks. Now I have three of them. Just kidding, I have like five. Anyway, um, I am joined today by Shaggy, which is on the bed, and then this thing here is OG. And we are going to go over everything that I have done, but have not shown you for the last couple months. Well, you know, unless you were my patron, in that case you've already seen all of this. But, uh, I want to show you all the new things that I have coming out for June as well. So the last time I made one of these, it was about to be my birthday. And for those of you that haven't seen it, I did a whole birthday photo shoot involving a lot of cake and, of course, my, um birthday suit, me and my birthday suit. I did talk about it in my last Patreon update, which you can find by clicking that card up there, um, cause I don't want to show off the outfit again. But, one thing that I've been behind on for the last couple months that I haven't shown off at all is the mail. And for my birthday, or for the February mail, I have pieced together a lovely little, um, like, I, I don't know what, what this would be. Mail piece? Poster? Uh, card? It's like a giant card, really, of, well, a drawing that took me a disgusting amount of time of me in my birthday suit. Well, chibi me, obviously, because I kind of suck at drawing otherwise. And then there is this balloon up here, taped down, filled with confetti. And the reason it's taped down instead of like permanently glued down is cause if you want to blow it up to celebrate my birthday with me. So this is basically like a mini version of the balloons that I actually used in my birthday photo set. And I might put some pictures up here to kind of show you what I'm talking about. But yeah, I think it came out pretty cute. I did spend a disgusting amount of time on it. So I hope you think so too. But yeah, that was the mail for February. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No throwing things at Oji. Oji, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Oji has issues, I can't. Yeah, it's okay, I'll fix it. Oji, Oji, I'm sorry. Oji, no. Oh, oh, there you are. Hi, Oji. Oji, I'm sorry, that was me. Hello. Hi, Oji. Hey, can you come back? Ah, you paranoid little fuck. I don't like you under the table. I can step on you at any moment. Yeah. Yes. Come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said I was sorry. <laughs> Stay there. Okay. No more throwing things at you. Sorry about that. But anyway, so yeah, aside from the mail, which was this, um, whatever, which will be this, the two photo sets that I did for that month, for those of you that don't know, was my birthday photo set and of course my Ulysses Claw photo set. But yeah, I did show off those outfits uh, in that video over there, so you can go check that out there. So moving on from the really, really, really old shit, we now come to March. And I did mention what the photo sets were going to be in my last Patreon update as well, but I didn't show off the entire outfit for one of them. So for March, my photo set A for my $5 patrons was Ruby Roundhouse. And I mentioned in my last Patreon update that I had the pants and the shirt and the gloves and of course my favorite side patches, life field like side patches, but I didn't have my vest because I said that I was getting it tailored. 
I finally got it tailored. Um, I think it came out about as accurate as I am going to probably get it. Uh, just because this is a really weird design to try to replicate in real life. And it basically does nothing. <laughs> it's not even like functional for any purpose except maybe like an outside bra, an exterior bra. Uh, so, you know, very uh, useless outerwear. But hey, I think that came out pretty damn good. I'll be putting some pictures up here just so you can check that out. But finally got the best done. And that was my photo set A for March. And for the mail for March, I'm just following this theme of spending a disgusting amount of time drawing something for the hopes that people will like it. And on that note, I have made this lovely brochure for Joshua Tree National Park. That's totally not in focus. Oh. In any case, I have more. Ta-da-da! -da! You totally cannot see all the details on this and the texture on this. But this did also take me a disgusting amount of time. But I really wanted to make a brochure just to go along with the vlogs that I did and I really wanted it to be for Joshua Tree. So I drew a Joshua Tree, of course, the mountains. And then since it's a brochure, I wrote that it has sick bighorn sheep, confusing roads, Creepy motherfuckers, you totally can't see that, but that's a lizard down there. And of course, the spiky ball cactus that I am now completely obsessed with, and I really, really want one. But I just wanted to make a little brochure for everyone to take home. So that's going to be your mail for March. I don't know what that is. I just, I really wanted a little bit. And of course, you know, I wouldn't just make a random ass brochure of Joshua Tree without my photo set B being Joshua Tree. Um, well, I mean, speaking honestly, I, I, I might if I really like Joshua Tree. But this one was themed for a reason. So, of course, for the Joshua Tree one, I wore my weird ass, uh, I, I don't know, coat, shawl thingy. And, of course, my exercise um, bra and shorts. And I really like Joshua Tree, guys. It came out so nice. And then, like, going to Joshua Tree was so amazing. And I, I was just, I was really glad with how the photo set came out also. But, whoo, man, Joshua Tree totally got sunburned. And, uh, well, you know, I watched out for rock climbers this time. So the only thing I had to worry about was lizards. Yeah. But hey, this one came out pretty great, and I'm going to be putting some photos up here so you can check them out. But that is definitely up on my Patreon as my photo set B for the month of March. And now moving on to April, in which I did a theme photo set, of course, for Detective Pikachu coming out, where I myself became a classic dick. Of course, chosen by my patrons on Discord. You guys had a vote between Classic Dick and Lewd Dude and Classic Dick won. So I went out, like a total weirdo, to this really cool park that I know uh, that was uh, mostly not busy that day. And I went in my detective outfit, outfit complete with my little cap, my... Uh, what are these things called again? These are not monocles. Uh, binoculars. <laughs> Microscope? No. Dear God, I forgot what this is called. Megaphone. Telescope. Telephone. It's called a magnifying glass! Yes! Okay. All right, gonna just undo all that shit. That shit, that shit didn't happen. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna put everything back. Nothing happened. <laughs> okay, and moving on to my photo set A for April, which was my classic dick photo set. 
And this one was chosen between Classic Dick and Lude Dude over on my Discord. You guys had a vote, and Classic Dick won. Of course, I did this one to go along with my Detective Pikachu photo set, but this time I'm not the ravaging murderer skinning Pikachus and wearing their flesh. I'm the detective that has been called in to search for the Rhyme Shitty Reaper. an actual pipe. Anyway, so I went down to the park in my full outfit of scarf, this um, vest thingy, my fancy shirt, this giant trench coat, of course, because you can't be a private detective unless you got your detective trench coat, and uh, it was about 90 degrees outside, but I was still running around on the mountains and stuff looking for Growlithe, and of course, I had my companion, Pikachu, following with me, but yeah, uh, that one was a lot of fun, uh, but I did see a disgusting amount of lizards in, in a trash can that kind of made me paranoid for the rest of the day, but I was still able to solve the case, and of course, I'll be, you know, putting up some pictures up here to show you how that went, but that was my photo set A for um, April. <laughs> oh, my uh, magnifying glass. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop playing with it. So as I was previously mentioning, being a ravaging murderer going around skinning Pikachus and wearing their flesh, the mail for this month is something else I drew and, well, I, I didn't spend a disgusting amount of time on this, but something else I drew, of course, which is me murdering Pikachu, you totally can't see that, me murdering Pikachu, and then this little felt head is separate because it's like his head is popping off, so you can touch this one. It's fluffy. So that's me, and then of course I have my little area for my note. I drew my background, which is the playground, and this is actually basically how it did go down, minus the head popping stuff. But uh, just wanted to give a shout out to Cami. Thank you so much for helping me out with that. I don't know if you wanted a shout out or not, but in case you didn't, it's too late. So thank you for that. It was really great. So yeah, that is my mail for the month of April. Putting it down. <laughs> All right, now for photo set B, your girl done fucked up. And I actually wasn't able to take that one on time because when I had originally scheduled it, the usual happened and basically a lot of shit went down and I couldn't do it. So, um, instead, I actually decided to do a remake of one of my older photo sets. So, you guys have been with me, or that have been with me for a while, know that a long time ago, about this time last year, I did a Mary Jane photo set that I wasn't too happy about because, basically, I didn't know lighting was such a big deal in photography and I may have taken it in really dim lighting and not too great conditions and everything came out grainy and even though I like still like the final product for what it was because you know I had the outfit put together and stuff I wanted to redo it because I knew I could do it better so with that I went down to Las Vegas and I did Another Mary Jane photo set! So this time I literally got the exact same outfit, my shirt, still my Spider-Man shirt that I got of course fitted and made because they still don't make this design. I don't know why, it's been one year later. You would think that someone would have the exact Mary Jane shirt that I was looking for. and. This entire time, you know, the last one and this one is based off of my favorite drawing of Mary Jane, which is the one by J. Scott Campbell, um, where she's 
you know, worried about Spider-Man and waiting for Spider-Man. So, uh, I really like that cover. I'll be putting a photo of it over here just for reference and stuff. And I knew I could do it better. So, Ray did it. I am so happy with how this one came out. Thank you guys so much for all your positive feedback and just like telling me what you thought about it. So I'll be putting some photos up here. Um, I am going to, well, I already tried these on and I'm gonna be showing it off uh, how it fits on me. But yeah, really happy with how this one came out. So much better. But yeah, that's already on my Patreon if you guys want to check it out, compare with the one that I did last year. But that is the photo set B for April. Good on I am, Mary Jane. <laughs> okay, so that's basically all the really, 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 really old stuff out of the way. So now, the stuff that I did last month for May. So, for May, my photo set A was, of course, a Taco Fiesta! <laughs> you like the fiesta, I'll give the maracas a resting. Yeah. Yeah. I get a bit too excited with those. But anyway, yeah. Taco Fiesta. So for that one, I of course wear my little fiesta hat. Tut -tut. And this shirt that I, well, I terribly, horribly destroyed. Basically, I got this shirt, I dyed it. It was a really dark green. I did the photo set and I was in such a rush that I basically just shoved all the clothes in a bag and then later washed all the clothes in a bag because I forgot what it was. And uh, as you can see, this just, it, this just didn't survive the wash. First of all, it got completely discolored and I have ruined it, murdered it completely and totally. So this poor shirt is done. It has done its business, but trust me, in the photo set, it looked great. And I'll be putting some photos up here for you guys to check out, but I had my full Fiesta outfit and my little salsa type skirt, and then of course, no Fiesta is complete without my hot sauce swimsuit. So I got this swimsuit from Taco Bell. The entire thing was basically like a Taco Bell photo set, complete with tacos and burritos and stuff that I basically bought at like 9 a.m. whenever they opened from Taco Bell and plenty of Mountain Dew Baja Blast that I got from Las Vegas. And I had a whole bunch of uh, hot sauce as well, so that was pretty fun. And it was for Cinco de Mayo, so celebrating my heritage with, of course, Taco Bell and Mountain Dew Baja Blast, which I'm very passionate about. If you'd like to go see my guacamole cooking video, um, that I will be putting the link up in in the corner over there. So yeah, Taco Fiesta. This was my entire, you know, outfit for my photo set A for May. Ooh, I'm gonna gently put this over you. Oh, my hat. No hat. No more fiesta. So of course you know I couldn't stop my Cinco de Mayo fiesta with a cooking video. Basically two like taco themed photo sets. But I also have to do the mail. So for the mail I basically just got a bunch of cute props. And I, well let me get closer. I made these Polaroids to send out, so, you know, I think they came out okay. They came out weird, but to be expected. Weird-ass Polaroids from me, so. Be looking forward to that, because that is the mail for May. <laughs> I'm like, damn it. <laughs> and now, photo set B for me, I also kind of fucked up. Not me. But basically, there's a long story to it, 
where I was supposed to go to Kings Canyon about three weeks ago to go do a photo set in my butterfly outfit. But a lot of stuff happened where basically the weather was shitty and it was basically snowing over there and I wanted it to be me as a butterfly just enjoying, you know, the spring and the flowers and the fields and that totally wouldn't have happened if there was a bunch of snow everywhere and I couldn't do anything. And then when the weather did finally clear up, basically car stuff happened. So planning on going this week or next week sometime very soon and as you can see here i have my very shiny one piece suit um for youtube i'm going to be wearing a bra for this a little show off thing just because this thing i don't you i don't oh yeah you can see it's sheer it's really sheer and like in in the light, in the sunlight, it kind of reflects and it looks really cool, but yeah, it's it's pretty sheer. So for that, um, I also bought these pasties that I thought were cool. Uh, they're basically butterfly pasties, but the really cool thing is that they're two-sided. And if you're wondering what that means, that means I'm a magician. <laughs> I really like these. So, one side is all rainbowy, and then the other side, doo -doo 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 -doo, silver. So, I'm gonna be taking some photos with these. Not all of them, of course, uh, because I still want to be able to have some with the full outfit, how I just kind of intended it to be or how I wanted it to be for whenever, you know, I hit my goal and I can release that or I, whenever I want to release it. But anyway, I also have this cool skirt to go along with it. You totally can't tell because I'm sitting down, but this skirt has this, these like two slits in the front that I think are really cool. It's like an M cut or something. So. I think it looks really pretty paired up with this uh, silver one-piece suit. <sighs> but of course, my favorite part of this outfit is... Da -da 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 -da! <laughs> no! <laughs> These things are dangerous. And as I was saying, the really cool part of this outfit is... The wings! Ta -da -da -da! Ta -da -ta -da! I bought these giant wings that I am so obsessed with and basically the photo said it's going to be me going in the field as a butterfly, a beautiful butterfly, just enjoying my day. Ta -da -da -da. And then I get squashed. No, I'm kidding. Well, maybe. I don't know how it's gonna go. But I'm super in love with these wings. I'm basically obsessed with them. I think this entire outfit looks so cute. I am so super excited for this photo set. I think it's gonna come out great. Um, and, you know, I'll be showing off the results of that later. But of course, you get the preview of me dancing around in it right now. But uh, basically, that is going to be the photo set for. Me. May. Photo said B for me. Oh, yeah. Touching. And now we get to June. So, photo set A for June is going to be a secret. Because I have something cool planned coming in the next week, which you guys will find out what it is. So, just stay tuned for that video. And the mail for June, I also don't have. It's basically going to be something like the Joshua Tree card, but for Kings Canyon. So basically I'm gonna do that after I do the Kings Canyon photo set because I wanna make it as accurate to where I actually took the photo set as possible, make it look really cool. So yeah, I'll probably show that off in the next Patreon update. And now for my photo set B, 
for June. Now you may be thinking, Letty, it's been a while since you did a full-on outfit of a Marvel superhero, hasn't it? To which I say, BAM! Black Widow! Avengers, assemble! So, I bought a Black Widow outfit. I would show that off, but it's still coming in. Um, but basically it's going to be her look from Infinity War, and I'm pretty excited about it because the outfit looks super dope. I wish I could show it off right now, but basically it's going to look something like this. Um, except without the, uh, the dead stare fish eyes. Fish eyes. But anyway, um, for that one, I'm basically going to have to find a place that looks like Wakanda. So, some really open lot with a lot of dead grass? I'm not too sure. I'm still figuring out the details on where exactly I'm going to take it, but it's going to be Black Widow. So, look forward to that. And with that, that's basically it. Um, I know I was kind of like jumpy throughout this entire thing, but I've had a lot of caffeine tonight, so yeah, hopefully I didn't miss anything, and stay tuned for my video next week where I will reveal what the photo set is, well, potentially might be, and uh, yeah, I think that is all I got for you, so... Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Get out there, do all the stuff, and I will see you next time. Goodbye! I'm a beautiful butterfly! Bye, bye, bye. You wanna fly, little doggy? <laughs> Now goodbye. It's really not that bad.